So um, we sent this manuscript up, uh, uh, and then we got very insightful reviewer comment. Uh, the reviewer comment was the following. There's been a long-standing unsolved puzzle that auction reduction on gold, uh, gold one on one, produces only the two electron reduction selectively. And of course, this is not an entirely academic problem because, as I said, hydrogen peroxide is important chemistry. So, uh, I think one uh, one Sunday evening, uh, uh, I decided let's see if we can understand this process. So, um, what what I what 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 I tried to do was was to see what it is that 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 takes you from oxygen to hydrogen peroxide. So now you have uh, one intermediate in the problem. You have oxygen, two protons and two electrons. You form OOH. Then you need you, you add another proton and electron. You need form hydrogen peroxide. So now can we try and understand this process? So what I plot here once again is a, is a free energy diagram. Uh, what I plot is on gold. What's really interesting is so on oxygen and hydrogen peroxide are in equilibrium at 0.68. Uh, this is because hydrogen peroxide is a Less stable molecule than water, uh, and what you see is uh, the difficult step is essentially activating oxygen as OOH. This is the same difficult step that is there in the four electron scheme also. So the the limiting potential is essentially set by the activation of oxygen to OOH, and then it's downhill to go from OOH to hydrogen peroxide. So what is that potential? It turns out that it's about 0 0.55, 0 0 0.54. Now, what's the story on the strong binding like? So, take platinum for instance. So, platinum, the story is completely opposite. The difficult step is essentially removal of OOH as hydrogen peroxide. The difficult step is essentially associated with this. And so, and so the 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 right leg or the or the or the weak uh, or this, this this the strong binding like sorry the left leg of this volcano is now limited by the process of reduction of OOH as hydrogen peroxide. And, and this sort of shows the robustness of a model because OOH is correlated with the OH binding energy, so we can sort of put everything in a, in a single plot. So what we do uh, is essentially take the universal activity volcano that we had, and what I what I told you already is that the right leg, which is essentially the activation of oxygen as OOH, is the exact same. Now we have a different step associated with the left leg, which is uh, associated with the removal of OOH as hydrogen peroxide. And I told you that hydrogen peroxide is correlated with the OH binding energy. So if experiment we were to were to match up, then all one needs to do is to draw a straight line here for the two electron process, and then all the experimental points should lie because the x-axis is already calculated. And so actually it turns out to be uh, quite good. So you take this. So uh, the left leg points seem to agree really well. There's a, there's a, there's a strong trend between. Uh, between uh, theory and experiment, and it actually points to why gold one on one is, is so active. Gold one on one is actually a lousy catalyst for the four electron process, but it's a fantastic catalyst for the two electron process for that exact reason because it's a lousy catalyst and it binds over which weak enough that it can catalyze the, the, the transformation to hydrogen peroxide and not all the way to water. And it's actually very, very interesting. And then the sort of uh, this this single plot here sort of puts, puts uh, about 30 years of of, uh, of, uh, of experiments, excellent experiments in oxygen reduction. Uh, one.